Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I hope you're having a great day today. It is August 12th. Oh, now 13. Thought I could get it right on the day of release here. Kind of sync them up. Uh, August 13th. And um, loved all sorts of comments last video. Very cool. Um, I, uh, I did want to say that I have tried so many things to get the performance to improve. And uh, it simply will not. I've also given this save file to numerous people in the workers and resources discord uh and had them you know test it out with uh my, my stream map and this one and everything and, and to try to get them to uh you know tell me what their performance is with other beefy chips and stuff too other big computers too same pretty much the same results so we're kind of thinking at this point that it's just a limitation of the game this is a an, an engine and stuff that was made by a very small development team they've done a wonderful job on this game but uh you know they're not a big studio that can maybe take full advantage of uh you know the 3d cash cores and things like that we're we're kind of convinced now that it's just sort of a limitation of the game and uh so yeah i'm just gonna deal with what i got uh, unfortunately this the system's not a waste uh there's plenty of games i have loaded now 25 different games on my computer including pretty much every game i've ever covered on this channel uh that's related that has something to do with like a similar system to this so i'm talking about city skylines end zone surviving mars uh even prison architect uh which has a lot of pathing and things but not really a lot of graphics and i've come to find out that uh the 7950x 3d is a freaking monster it is super good basically every title i play except this one <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna go with it and it is what it is today i wanted to actually go in and do the signals properly i'm not happy with last video um i'm not really satisfied with what we did last video because i don't really think we did a whole lot and i'd like to do even more than we did before so i'm looking at the oh you know what it's really dark isn't it you know what i bet i bet you my nighttime settings have been reset with all the things i've been doing trying to get this to work Oh, okay. This video is going to be dark then. I'm just going to have to deal with it because I'm not going to, I'm not going to reboot it right now. <laughs> um, so we have all these signals here, all right? And they're all two-way signals and things like we did last time. And obviously this is not the final, it's final form, okay? But it, what it did is it got the uh, distribution office working. And it actually has been working. It's gone out and made a couple of different deliveries already over to here and uh it's dropped off a whole bunch of meat so i no longer need the distribution office over here to do that I, I don't need you to come over and deliver meat to that place anymore so i can say for example come over to this meat storage right here and i could just cut you from the list that opens up another connection point at this main distribution office later which is pretty good this will just do it for us and that goes for construction resources and stuff too as we begin to use more and more of these this office is going to spring to life, go get the stuff, and we'll continuously make this full. And that's that's been kind of working out too. So uh, you'll probably see that those trains and stuff work at some point today. But the tracks in the inner city area here are pretty much done now. And so the track builders really just need to get out to the outskirts of where the cities are. And uh, they need to build tracks in other places. So it looks like this one here is... You know, this is kind of the outskirts, too. We really don't need them to build these tracks over here, but um, that's what they're doing. So the inner city parts are done. So what I need to do is I need to provide them with a way to convert or another way to uh, move over to another track uh, further out down the track here. So I needed to take maybe see, there's this little crossing right here. So I'm thinking this right here might be a good spot for it. There's, uh, there's an adequate amounts of room to use that. Yeah, so we're going to go over and we're going to grab just these little wooden tracks. They're real cheap. We don't need to do much with them. And we're just going to have a little thing like this. I think that's kind of it. Um, you'll move over here and then you come back. If you build track on this side, though, you need to be able to return. So we do need a full crossing here. But we're going to do this with the wooden tracks because it's faster to build. <laughs> no it's not uh but it's a little bit cheaper because it's going to use the boards and then once this is in place then the track builders will be able to just move over and as soon as they can do that because this tarp is this stuff here is done as soon as they can adequately move over we can then have these tracks set up properly with signaling more permanent where trains are kind of keeping right right um now over here 
we have uh, this track that's being built and it comes all it comes all the way through here this building is completed so they're building it out this way uh this just got done pretty cool so now they're going to start building out this one all the way out this way uh i've deleted this temporarily and then redrew it because i wanted to make sure that i could get a road to come in through here there's a little gravel road through here just sticking in here because this is a pretty wide open area and i kind of wanted an access point on this side so i've gone in and just kind of deleted this made a road redrew the track and so now the track builders can hopefully start getting on that i need the farms the farm track must be done at some point okay uh we're gonna say assign new construction there okay now the next thing is the distribution office can do this for us i don't have to do it because this is done this thing being done is actually quite convenient sorry not this 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 thing being done is quite convenient because it means that a train can uh stop in here and uh deliver bricks and stuff for this place to have it so i'm gonna come over here the distribution office i'm gonna say hey you're gonna have this too added what do you deliver here that's a good question i think i'd like you to deliver uh let's start with bricks bricks prefabs and steel let's keep it 20 percent full doesn't have to be big all right now just that alone should be enough to prompt a train to start and you can see it's right here very dark i think i will actually restart the game <laughs> uh but this is this is the train now notice how the signaling is preventing this train from going forward and that's just because again our signals are not complete so everything is just like really messed up so i'm just going to tell you to ignore the red signal for now and we need the signaling to be done first so this train is going to ignore all the signals it's because of this one right and then this one stopped because of this one and this one stopped because of this one right once the tracks are done properly this will not be a problem anymore so we're gonna get this guy moving forward that's gonna allow these guys to go where they need to go pretty soon no he's going back the other way to do on the opposite side of the track yeah well when he passes by this it should be all right he's almost done i, I believe in you oh he's going that way yeah well uh I'll tell you what let's try to at least make this form this job up ahead a little bit easier okay tell you to ignore the red signals and by you ignoring it and you ignoring it that should allow this train to get in there all right now you can ignore it and get in there all right so again this train is now going to deliver to the track builders and that's going to give them bricks which is good because it's going to give them uh, a means to create the bridges right and actually what's probably going to happen with this train is it's going to pick up the goods it might even pick up oh it's going to pick up the uh yeah the prefabs sorry so this is the problem what you get when you do track building like this and this is like something that i'm gonna skip ahead for you guys but on the stream you pretty much had to deal with me doing this but this is kind of what happens when you do temporary signaling and you start to involve other trains that need to use those signals which is why i delayed for such a long time doing signaling is because of this is because i didn't want this to occur right and so now obviously this thing's gonna have to wait it becomes a jumbled mess uh but once the track builders get the hell out of here i believe everything then gets just fixed and solved and everything's fine right so i want to see this guy get through here there he goes now we've also uh, as you know we've been making uh, a lot of stuff this guy's doing bricks see so this is again right from the distribution office he's gonna be doing bricks at the end of this video uh, all the signaling from this point all the way out to this point should be completely properly done to where there's no more conflicts with trains moving in around here uh track builders are the one exceptions of course because they're gonna constantly go the wrong way on tracks they have to go the wrong way in order to build them sometimes so if they're going the wrong direction i can't really do much about that but yeah so we have bricks here and then this is going to get taken over uh to here now they're your normally they would probably go the short work the route uh which in this case would be coming from here and then they have to come this way Ooh, they can't do that can they they can't do that so do you want to give them a means of doing that i mean i could but it doesn't really truly matter they'll just have to come all the way through to deliver it but they're delivering bricks to this location 
they don't really need to deliver all that many bricks to that location. So I think I'm fine with the way it is. Let them go all the way through. It's not a big deal. There's a little extra fuel, but whatever. And all right. So prefabs just picked up and it's being taken over where it needs to be. And then as soon as this bridge is done, then the, the trains, once they pull in here, they'll be able to go out and uh, go around to get back home. So we need this bridge done. Basically. So you're unloading all the prefabs. There we go. Beautiful. And this will then bring them in. Very nice. Bricks are going to come in in the second part here. Very cool. And now that bricks are in here, I'm going to allow more bricks, I think, to be in here because we're going to be building some bridges. Now that that's a thing, you can come on out and start building bridges, which is, I think, exactly where you're going right there. Yep. I want you building that. And that's going to allow these trains to get the hell out of here much easier once they do. Of course, right as a moment, or as of right now, they're just going to go back the other way. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit longer. And then once this kind of declears up and we've got these bridges done right here and, you know, other things are done, uh, then we'll get to our proper signaling. Because I want to go through that with you guys. I want to go through signaling, how it works with this type of system. Uh, I will say that, you know, I've had some people, uh, a couple people who, you know, spend their lives around trains. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, you've, you've informed me quite well that uh, this train type system here is just super unrealistic and that trains don't do this uh, and that they don't turn very sharp. I'm aware of that. Um, and uh, I've already explained it to them. So I'm not, I don't want to like, you know, I'm not drilling into them for just for everyone else though trains intersections and stuff don't really work like this in real life but the game allows me to do it and i'm working within the rules of a video game okay and within the rules of a video game i think all these little intersections work really well uh, as long as you space them out appropriately all right i'm gonna let this play on a little bit i'm gonna reboot the game just so i can get uh night time to be fixed again and um when we come back most of these tracks and stuff should be fixed okay so this bridge is moving along pretty nicely it's nearly done this side over here is done but this one's going to be done pretty soon i do have a regret on this though uh i i do regret how this is built in um i am kind of thinking i, I wish this would curve over and, and connect i know i can technically do it it's just going to be really well it's just not going to be very clean but uh i could have uh, this track kind of work its way this way again I know they can't turn this sharp usually in real life but I could have it turn in here and then connect like that just have to get rid of this and then uh, you know this is all dirt roads anyway so we could just wipe it out redo that so it connects this way uh, and then that way the distribution office only needs to go like this and then it can go that way drop it off and then come back around I don't think it matters all that much but um it could it could i mean just a little extra fuel a little extra time you get more trains moving in this area might make a difference i don't know but uh we're pretty much done most of the trains now they uh they, they leave the station out one direction and then they just sort of need to get on a different track just to return home and stuff so i think i'm ready to start putting in the tracks the signaling and stuff a little closer to the way they're supposed to be I'm going to start by getting rid of this. This is not needed. We don't need a crossing here. Uh, trains, if they're leaving, they'll leave on this track. And if they're coming back, they'll be on this track. So we don't need this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this railway like that. And then we'll go ahead and make sure we're canceling this railway like that. Now that does create two projects, not four. So it's there. Uh, and then I just need to make sure that these guys are aware of the demolition. And then they can come out real quick, demo it, and then go back in. And that's going to leave them with a dedicated in and out. So with that done, we're going to go in and we're going to say that these signals are now going to change. So when you're entering into an intersection, you want to use chain signals. Chain signals are, they're going to be two arrows, all right? If you're ever confused as to which ones are what they're doing, just think of it this way. The regular signal is one arrow. It's only paying attention to this section, right? The section in front of the arrow. So the section, the arrow is pointing to the section that it is paying attention to, right? All right. So the chain signal is pointing to with two arrows. It is going to pay attention to this, this the section that is in front of it and the one ahead of it there. 
so it's one two sections so it's paying attention to this one and this one what this means is it will not allow a train to pass this signal unless that train can successfully navigate through this and through this okay that's how that works and that's why it's good to put them in front of intersection intersections because not only does the train have to be able to get into this intersection and get to the next signal but it also must be able to pass completely through to the next signal in order to pass this one and that way you ensure that anyone that enters the intersection will completely clear it before they uh you know before they stop so what we want to do here is we, we can change this one this one's gonna be the hardest one to change because it's the highest traffic um so i really need to make sure that the track builders are definitely done doing what they're doing before i before i start doing a lot of this um hopefully they get on the demolition now that should be a really really quick thing to do but they're choosing to leave anyway either way right we're gonna take this signal here and we're gonna make this a chain now if i make this a chain what's gonna happen here is it has to get all the way through this and get through this before it will enter and that's probably not good for way back here so i think since this is just a track builder section i'm just gonna go with a single a single one here so now these trains are going to have to leave uh temporarily i'm gonna leave that as a two-way because these things are gonna get really confused if i don't let them do this um so temporarily this one's gonna stay as a two-way uh this one needs to remain as a two-way as well because the train will actually come two-way here and then yeah, as these leave right you need to be able to get through the next signal so if a train stops here it needs to be able to pass through this one in order to enter this section that's good because this is the intersection so if there's nobody here the train will come over and stop here if there is someone here then the train is not able to reach the signal so it will stay here once a train enters this area it can stay here provided it does it's not too long and it shouldn't be too long because it's just going to be the, the garbage train it's going to be yeah 97 meters fine hopefully it doesn't get in the way there i do kind of think maybe a bridge here would have been a good idea but or a tunnel <laughs> uh but that's, that's okay uh and then what we're gonna do all right so these signals are good the way they are provided i get this intersection uh taken care of uh, i'm not sure why this isn't considered higher priority let's just do that you should be able to break that down we have all this stuff yeah yeah there's everything is in here you're good uh okay so next we'll look at i think some other intersections up here uh so over here great example of a regular old intersection that we're going to need to configure to go multiple directions all the tracks are done here we're not really getting any confusion as to which direction trains should go so up this guy he's going to cross into here so that he can turn around and actually go home because he's got to be on the right side of the track now in order to go home so yeah they're still going to be doing that so it's maybe not the god damn not the best time then i need track builders to get just get out of here you know they, they can always go around the other direction though see the problem is they're approaching from this side and yeah they can get here and once they're done with this once they're done with this segment they should be able to just continue on but if i don't allow them to continue on this way and they have to come back this way because they're not done then they'll be left with no no way to get home and i'll have to i'll just click the button on them it's fine a lot of micromanagement of tracks trains of this okay so chain signal here and then i call this a clear but really it's just a regular old semaphore okay um but i'm gonna call it a clear because what when i say clear it means that this is a signal that will mark that the train is completely clear of the intersection and so trains will need to pass by this signal before any train from this side will go and that counts for all these chain signals it has to pass this one in order to get out right so on this side we're gonna have this be a clear and this is going to be where the chain stops here i want the chain signal here so that a train heading this direction oh you what are you doing what are you what are you what are you trying to do right now this little segment this is a little segment's not important okay so you're not even supposed to be building it i guess it's disallowed what are you doing just being silly that's all you're doing all right anyway 
I want the this signal to be a chain here so that the train will stop here and not get in the way of the road. I don't want you stopping here because then you're going to be in front of the road, right? So I'm trying to stop the trains before they reach the road. And that's what that's all about. So we have the clear and the chain signal going in, regular signal coming out. Chain signal going in, regular signal coming out. Same thing over here. We'll say that we want the chain signal going in, regular signal coming out. And same thing over here, regular signal coming out and chain signal going in. So this is now properly signaled. And notice how this area here is still orange, okay? And that is because all of this is considered the same intersection as this. We don't want these to be two separate intersections because it will cause trains to get between them and then stop in the intersection. So this entire zone is gonna be paid attention to. So if there's a train here, and it comes starts to cross this road a train here will wait for it to get all the way out of there before it starts to go in general you want these intersections to be fairly small you don't want huge intersections like this because it just takes more time but it's much better than having many small intersections okay come on over here same thing we want a, a regular signal this is going to be a one way now so regular signal in that direction chain in this one is the chain necessary let's take a look um you know i'm not sure that the chain is particularly necessary here uh in fact i'm not even entirely sure a signal itself is necessary here uh because this is well it's a one way right so like i guess if there's a train yeah if there's a train entering here then you want them to stop so that that train can get out of the way but i mean i suppose that's I suppose that's what we're looking for. We just do a regular one here. I think that'll be fine. Um, we do want the chain one here because we don't want it to just be like, oh yeah, I can totally get through here, but you can't because that signal stopped. So if there is a train sitting here, we don't want you to pass because if you pass to this one, then you'll be stopped here in the intersection waiting for this train to enter. So this one needs a chain so that it's paying attention, not just to this signal, but also that signal. So that again if any train is stopped here then the train going this way will stop here not here okay um on this side if there is a train stopping over here then of course you know th this isn't really signaled yet so probably we want to chain here as well because this isn't really signaled yet not not really uh i mean i guess we could do it but uh all we would be doing is let's see so this is a train that goes yeah so this is a one way like that that's a clear and then this is also a continuance so this is a clear and then that makes this one a chain right but this isn't completely built yet so i need that to be like that and then the track builders are not going to be able to get on this track to continue building it because i haven't provided them with a method to do that right they are not allowed to go the wrong way on the track anymore so for this little stretch I think I do actually need the two-way just to allow them to get in here and do that. So all the way through here, we're going to give this a two-way that way. And then you're going to be a two-way for now. This is a two-way. And then these guys still have to leave coming out. So again, track building really complicates things when you're trying to do signaling because the trains have to be able to get there. Uh, now, if there was an alternative route on this side where the trains could approach that track from the other direction, then that would work. But since there is no way to really do that, we're gonna have to provide an alternative. So to do that, I'm going to put in a little tiny wooden track. And I think that's probably the core reason why these little wooden tracks exist. It's just this little tiny crossing that lets them, you know, well, cross over. So we're gonna go a chain there and put the clearing on that side. This is going to be a clear. That's going to be a clear. That's a one-way track right there. And then uh, this comes in as the uh, as the chain signal like that. And I think temporarily, because of how things work with the distribution office, I do need that to temporarily be because that's going to allow the distribution office trains to get into here, get their stuff, and then go back that direction. For now, I think that has to happen. Get out of the way. So... We're gonna allow that temporarily. Uh, what else can we do? I think I've pretty much explained how tracks work, right? I mean, if you don't have a, if you don't understand yet, um, 
just leave leave a question in the comments and I'll I'll see if I can't answer you right but it's a fairly simple straightforward process chain signals look two sections ahead two arrows two signals ahead so one signal and the next one right so uh, again in this example if there's a train that wants to go all the way to the track builders but for some reason or another it, it would never happen but if for some reason or another there's a train stopped at this signal there's no re there's no way that will ever happen once these once this crossing is gone if they want to stop at this signal then the train would end up stopping here not here right not here because it's a chain signal it's paying attention to that one and that one so the train has to completely clear that signal before a track builder will be allowed to proceed right simple if you do only one signal then you're only paying attention to this one so if i was to do uh one signal like that then it would be paying attention to this one so if there's a train here it won't let you pass but if there's a train there it will let you pass because it's only one signal and that would result in a train coming over and stopping right here because it won't be able to proceed to this one because there's a train there so it would then be stopping in the intersection we don't want that to happen so we use chain right pretty straightforward i think uh so we're gonna come over and it would end up being the same way over here but this is like yet to be built track so i, I don't think i really should be doing a whole lot of signaling here because again yet to be built so we'll just do that uh yeah okay i think this is a much better explanation i think um i'm hoping you guys are, are getting it here if you haven't been familiar with uh how tracks work and stuff i hope that this is a, a little bit better for you uh okay so chains in all that stuff's good it goes that way and then it can come out this way now here is the here's the rub okay we want you to stay on the right side here and i can probably get rid of i think anyway yeah you're not building this anymore get rid of that uh all the way out to like this so i've prompted them to build this crossing and you can see that they are doing just that and so once this crossing is done trains can now go the correct direction on this all the time so they will only be going one way here so that means we can have chain there and clear and then clear and then clear and see he's going the wrong way now but that's okay because you're just going to go back like that track builders i can teleport them that's fine uh and then uh we'll say you go like this and you go like this that's what we're looking for okay uh over here uh this could be a two-way at the moment which is good actually going to stay two-way i think um this is a potential point of contention here though and i think i actually want to move this crossing so it's not here but rather move it here instead uh, because it's a little too close to this i don't like how close it is uh here so like these two signals for example are only a 130. it's a little short if i extend this and bring it over i can get that 150 meter train to work just fine so i am going to have a permanent crossing here because there's two different completely different sources that it needs to get to uh and so we're going to put this i think like that and like that it's not the prettiest thing i've ever seen but it is going to work uh better i think as long as the as long as the distance is not too extreme yeah okay so it needs to be about there so i, I need to put it right about here instead that's fine all right so first we'll go over to our track building here let's go like this cancel cancels the plans and then we'll just put it like this instead that should provide me adequate space to clear this up with a 150 meter, meter train uh, that's the one that's the 149 that's the 150 mark right there so uh yeah that should allow me to get in there without messing with an intersection <sighs> just a i want just a little bit more clearance there i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i want just a little bit more clearance there give me the measurement tool again please there we go let's go ahead and keep that yeah, keep that up open and then we'll go like the track builder and we'll say right about there i think instead so this little tiny segment here totally not symmetrical but it's okay that's what we're going to build instead all right and then we'll get rid of some of these extras like that and that should be good so what i want to have here is i want to have you get out of here so we're going to tear down this track like that okay and then uh we're gonna build that one instead 
they should be able once these stations are done to pass right through here and then they'll meet up with that station and off they go so this is a loop right uh they can come through here drop things off they can go back over get something else come on back uh if they are construction or sorry if they're distribution trains this is a two-way track so they're going to end up coming in here dropping it off and then they'll leave and when they leave they just go out the same way they came if they're on this station then they'll come in here they'll drop it off then they come out and they cross and they're on the right side of the track again that's what we're looking for okay so real quick let's just this is a really low traffic area anyway so i'm just going to make this uh like that and to let the trains do their thing however they want to do it uh there is a potential issue here in that they won't be able to get back because this isn't two-way so uh they're going to need an alternative path i think because if they come through here and they do this well i guess they would build it and then go back that way right they could always yeah they can't this does still need to be two-way damn it track builders you're killing me all right once it's done it'll be great but at the moment it's just got to get built first so okay so while they're getting on with track construction and stuff I want to do something that I feel like I should have done a long time ago um my, my train is buying a lot of steel so that's why my money is you know steadily dropping we, we had 145,000 deficit last month because of all the steel we're buying because we're just building a lot of stuff right now a lot of track and everything uh, and these bridges are not cheap so all these bridges and stuff are, are costing me money too they've started building this bridge to get us over into that so that's good uh, and all this track and stuff is done now so that's great still have to do that segment never even activated it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that too uh so what i want to do is something i should have done a long time ago this area it's super high traffic i mean there's a lot of vehicles that come in here and you get very resources all the time and yet it is still a dirt road i'm gonna do something about that now one thing that's a little bit weird is like my road construction office can't really do its own road right because you have to get out get the resources and then bring them back to the road they can't get out if I disable the road so that's what this office is for we have a secondary uh road construction office so that nobody ever gets trapped so this one is going to go ahead and do this right now I'm going to take and make this an asphalt road right there that little segment right there now that's going to block the road construction crew but then I'm going to go ahead and do that we should get some stuff delivered there uh there's a roller and then there's the asphalt uh paver as well so everything should be able to or this thing should be able to get all the road stuff done now i don't believe this little segment will require people it looks like it's big enough to where it doesn't need workers uh but for the sake of getting there faster i think i'm just gonna tag it up and just if it needs it then they'll do it and whatever once this little segment of road is done though then the regular road crew can then get out and take care of other things because i can do this segment and they can get out this way and if i do this segment they can get out this way and then you know i'll start working on all these other segments over here too so i could probably start get getting things like this done right and then um even things like this can be done too because they can still go around to get into the in there so i'm not trapping them anywhere all right so we'll go ahead and tell you to go ahead and do that and that as well so these road crews uh they're gonna go ahead and do that got flat uh open hulls sorry open hulls to uh move the mechanisms and stuff around that's cool uh, and then of course this is a high priority road so we're gonna start getting this area working better too all right how's my helicopter construction office it is done oh baby it is done look at it just sitting here now there's no fuel here yet although i don't know Ooh, never mind uh you put bitumen in here that ain't good get out of here uh fuel yes this is the item we want in there thank you very much so fuel is going to get dropped in here and it should then come straight to this building assuming it's going to actually start pulling it in it should uh bring it into this building if there's enough in there right so there isn't currently enough in there what we're going to want to do in the interim is just to have the fuel rats go ahead and deliver it to this until we can reliably get enough fuel to be pumped into here but we are getting fuel pumped into here so all the piping and stuff is done here pretty cool next we're going to go in and we're going to get the sources for where they get stuff picked up from now workers are going to have to be brought in from the border i'm not really a big fan of that uh i would like to get workers from my own town and so to do that over in this area i think i was going to do it right about here i was going to put in a passenger heliport platform and i don't exactly remember where i was going to put this so i might need uh, like a, a video or two to just kind of you know 
weigh this out. Uh, it might have actually been over here because it puts it in range of all of these guys. I think I was going to do it over here. Uh, and this is a, a place where uh, people can come over here to queue up to go to, to, to work. And uh, when they do that, the helicopters can pick them up and we'll have our own domestic labor for helicopter construction projects. So I think that's what I was going to do here. But I, I think I'm just going to hold off on that for now. And uh, we'll focus on cargo delivery uh, for the time being because cargo delivery takes a lot of trips and helicopters can help with that, especially in far reaching places. So gravel is going to be gotten from that, which is not done yet at all. Uh, is it not done because of road or did it just not get assigned? Just didn't get assigned. Okay, uh, that's fine. So asphalt, you're gonna get that from here concrete is going to get from here we have this helipad done now that's great so we'll get prefab panels from there bricks is that done it is not done so bricks will have to be from there uh we don't have a place to get boards at the moment so i'll we'll have to work on that too and then mechanical and electrical components are both getting it uh from the border so we'll just say that we get from the soviet borders uh, and then electrical components, I'm actually going to tell you to get it from the Western countries. I've got dollars and electrical components are pretty damn expensive. You don't use them as often. So you're going to get it from there. Uh, you'll just fly that way, get them and bring them back. Okay. I'll spend my dollars for it instead. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so bricks needs to be done and connected steel. We have no source for steel at the moment. And we probably won't. So helicopters at the moment just won't be delivering steel. That'll just be something that trucks do. You don't have to connect every resource here for it to work. It just simply won't be able to get the resource that it's uh, going to have to bring. And they'll just sit there doing nothing instead of bringing steel. Because they have no way of getting steel. Next, I need a mechanism for this location. Fuel is being delivered there. And we can go ahead and do this. I don't want you dealing with roads and footpaths and factory connections. Uh, I think like electrical wiring, reconstruction, all that stuff's good. What I really want you focusing on, I think, are pipelines, buildings. Uh, we could maybe do electrical wiring, but that's going to require you to get electrical components. I think I'm going to keep it to these two for now for the helicopter construction office. Uh, next, we need to get the mechanisms. Of course, let's take a look at the buy new and see what kinds of prices we have here. The M10 cargo is what I'm looking to get. It's already 247,000 rubles now. That's pretty expensive. We can go look at the used market, but we have to do that from a, uh, a helipad. So I already have this one. It's down to 7% wear and tear because I went ahead and imported aluminum, right? So it's down to 7% now. That's fantastic. We can then bump that up to 50%. Mm, let's go 40%. And I want to change your workplace to the helicopter construction office. And then just like that, you're going to go ahead and now work at the helicopter construction office. That's gonna be great. Uh, let's turn on auto search for you. Yeah, 3,000 meters, very good. I kind of wish the helicopter construction office could work at further than 3,000 meters. I mean, they are flying after all, but I get it. Uh, so used vehicles, here's another M10 cargo. Look at that, 91% wear and tear, 10 years old, but it's so cheap compared to what it would have been. That is a very cheap M10 cargo, and I'm gonna grab that. Outstanding. Uh, how about the used vehicle market over here? So like, the Sky Crane, I don't know if it's worth buying one that's wear and tear when you're only giving me that small of a discount. You know, it's not that big of a deal, but the brand new ones for the used one, like that, that one was a big deal, all right? So I will keep buying from the used market, I think. And, uh, as the helicopters come in, they'll park right here. They'll instantly start getting repaired because this place has everything they need to repair it. And there's nothing to repair now. So they'll immediately start working on that helicopter. And then I will have had another M10 cargo, which is already going to work. There he is right here. Right? And click on him, damn it. Where is he? Come here. Okay, okay. Why can't I click on him? He's so high. I can't, I can't see him. Where is he? Hey. Oh, this is the new one. Yeah, yeah. This is the 91% one. I don't think that's the one I was trying to click on. Dude, that thing looks beat up. It's so beat up. You are so damaged. 
We're going to fix you up right and true, buddy. Don't worry. We're going to get you down all the way to under 10%, all right? We'll get you fixed. And then we'll put you to work. Now, the other helicopter, where's that at? I want to see it. I want to see it working. This one right here. Where are you at right now? No? Oh, you know what? You are over the border. That's why I can't click you. There you go. Right there. There it is. <laughs> it went all the way to the border for this little thing. Come on. Those little mechanical components. I think that might be a waste of fuel. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. You are working currently on what? That pipeline? Is that what you were working on? The pipeline? I almost want to designate projects for you specifically. I think that's what I want to do. You know what? I'm not going to have you go to the border anymore. That was a really long distance for a pretty small amount of stuff. I think instead we're just going to tell you that you don't get, you don't get that stuff anymore. You don't get these things. All right. So you're just going to move asphalt, concrete, prefab panels, and soon bricks. In fact, I think maybe we just give you that project, right? You just build this, please, right? That's all the things we need. Uh, now, in order to bring asphalt pavers and like that kind of stuff in order to the site, because helicopters can bring mechanisms to the work sites too, we need to add them to this area. So there is a parking lot here for other vehicles to be here too. And so we can go in and say, for example, I want to have an asphalt paver here, right? And then that can get delivered. I want to have uh, a bulldozer here. So I have like one bulldozer in here. I can have a roller in here if I want to I do that. Have a couple excavators maybe to start working on a couple of sites. So we can get like an excavator in there too. Well, I'm going to do one for now, but that's how you navigate that. You can put them in this and then these helicopters, because they're the cargo ones, right? They can haul vehicles on flatbed up to 13 tons. So you can put vehicles in here and then they can do it. Uh, not all helicopters can do that. So when you're buying helicopters, new players, uh, keep in mind that you need to see on the hover, hand load vehicles on flatbed in order for that to happen. And usually these cargo ones, they won't take passengers. So this one here is a passenger helicopter, but it can still take stuff too. This one, passenger helicopter, pack, passenger helicopter, etc. But they can still haul things. This one only hauls things and can hold a lot of things passenger helicopters through here uh so yeah i'm not really the a huge fan of the passenger helicopters in these i think we have lo local labor and they can move things around but you are going to get helicopters that have to come all the way out here to work and like you can't rely on workers to just come out here right so what i like to do with it is the helicopters will just bring all the goods that need to happen right and then we'll have another office that has uh, cause I'm going to have multiple, multiple offices, right? Multiple helicopter construction offices. Uh, and then the one will just be handling all the stuff. And then the other one can handle passengers. So we can put in, for example, a helicopter construction office, maybe over in this area, and they can fly over to the various different ports that we have to pick up workers and then deliver them to resources. And so then I can, you know, kind of control a little bit more about when helicopters leave and which projects they go to, et cetera by kind of specializing them a little bit like that. Did this get fixed up at, at all? Yeah, 82%. So they're fixing it pretty quick. You know? Takes a little bit of time. We can absolutely do it though. And then this other one is there in case there's another deal on another one while I'm sitting here. So not too shabby. It is a 100,000 discount, but we've seen, well, okay, that one's 10 years old too. So the age, does matter because the older they are the faster they'll wear out but i don't think 10 years is particularly old for a helicopter I, I'm, I'm thinking the helicopters are going to last a little longer than 10 years so i mean it's got age but i don't know if it's got like that steep of a discount age but i'll keep my eyes open for a discount like that because that sounds like a great idea so i think the pipe yes the pipe that runs all the way from here to here is done which means all the bitumen is now pumped into here that means that the route that these guys are taking are is no longer valid so we need to change this route so i need to delete these stops and i need you 
do you're gonna you're gonna go here instead okay it's this one all right and i'm just gonna say uh you know what let's just uh yeah here okay that one good now let's delete that stuff so i want you to go here and i want you to load bitumen uh you can wait till loaded but i just don't think you're gonna need to because it's gonna have it in there all the time anyway uh, and we're gonna have less trucks doing this too, but you're gonna be right off this road and you're gonna head that direction anyway. So, and there's not a whole lot of room to queue here. So I think not waiting to load it is the best call here. Uh, and then you go to the border and sell it. And, and that, that's it. So that's your new route. That's gonna affect everybody on the route. And then we'll go ahead and we could tell them to space it out, but honestly, I, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be necessary. I think I'd rather, uh, go in and maybe change where one of these guys works. Maybe make him a fuel rat or something. Just pop you here for now. I don't think you're really going to be... Yeah, all that big of a deal there. What about you? Where are you at? You're just you're just chilling over here. Yeah, like, I have got too many of these cisterns. That's the thing. Like, I got, I got too many oil trucks. I don't need this many. Uh, so I'm going to have you sit over here, too. And then... Uh, hopefully these guys don't queue up too much that might block traffic. It should only block the one lane, so they, they should have the other lane to, to move around in. Yeah. All right, so this is done now, which is great. And all these are done now, which is great. Now I can just take and go, okay, well, let's make that road happen, and then uh, we can make that road happen, right? And then same thing, take that extra road office and assign it here to these jobs, road crew, Right, you guys are on auto search, so you should be doing it anyway. But just in case you're, uh, you know, not getting your priorities straight, we'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, this area will be a much improved for traffic after that's done, which will be really great. Uh, we need to get this done too. So let's say this, and then helicopter construction office should be added to my uh, my, my bar here. So let's add construction office. We'll go with number. This is lucky number seven, I guess. So seven is the constru helicopter construction office. If I click it, it's going to add whatever that project is to the helicopter's uh, project list, right? So uh, seven, you should be there. You should be doing that already. And then uh, I want you to also deliver anything you can to this site and this site too, right? So there you go. And obviously, you're not going to deliver steel, but you can deliver concrete and you can deliver asphalt. You just can't deliver workers. And so workers are what's needed here. And so that's why we need to do that, okay? And like that. All right, one more time, let me let it run. I know this video is gonna kind of get long, but I mean, we got helicopters building things now, all right? Or at least delivering the resources to build them. And we got a super, super cheap chopper here too, which is great. I like it, I like it. Uh, what are you waiting for? Are you going back home? Yeah, just, just do that. Okay, so I was having a small logistical problem here with the train distribution office coming into this station because there's no loop yet it has to come back and because it has to come back it has to come back on the same track that it came on right you can't just cross over so i had to create this little crossing here uh so i'm gonna try to manage traffic in this with this little crossing now we have signals over here right and we want to make sure that we don't uh you know go too close to them so we're gonna keep that 150 alive which is what we're doing right here so this signal needs to be Pretty much, I spaced this out to where the signals are going to be right in front of this, right? So there's that. Uh, now, 150 should be uh, okay here too. So we have 150 there and 150 there. So this is perfectly positioned crossing. It's going to work out really well, I think. And uh, we're going to go in and we're going to say these signals need to go. I have deleted a dirt road. That's why this is marked out like this. There's a dirt road here. Because I wasn't sure where it was going to be. So now that we have a more accurate picture of things, we can put a chain signal there and a clear there. And um, these remain uh, two-way. Because if a train comes in this way, we can have it drop stuff off. And then it can leave that way if it wants to. Or if there's already a train doing this and another train wants to come in, let's say we're delivering clothes and meat, then that train has the option to use the other side of the track uh, for here. Now, later on, it won't have that option because we'll have a loop and everything will stay on its own side. But for now, that's an option. So you can actually have two trains using this. And then when it comes back this way, it will just keep going. But I think it's pretty good. We'll put a mixed signal on that side since uh, it's already coming this way and 
Oh, that's good. I'm gonna probably do a mixed signal there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we want to make sure they're going the right direction on this side. So now that that's taken care of, I shouldn't have any more uh, issues with uh, with that. And then I'll just go in and remake that dirt road. And I can put it on uh, probably this side like this. Oh, we'll, just, we'll just have it come across like that, right in front of the signals. If I do it right in front of the signals like this, though, then trains are going to stop on the road, right? And that was kind of what we were trying to avoid is trains stopping on the roadways. So what I might want to do here, even though it won't look quite as clean, is I might want to come in and cross in the intersection. So like this road comes right through the intersection itself, uh, and then it can proceed this way. Now that means that this road is not in the right position, but that's okay. We'll just kind of come out and go about there with it, all right? So now we have two roads. Uh, this one here we can probably get rid of. Uh, or I can, you know, bring it up. Because this road is like the way that trucks are getting over there. So it's just a dirt road. It doesn't matter. So we'll just keep it going about like that and connect it there. That's good. And then this whole road here can go away. We don't need that road anymore. And it's all connected to where it needs to be, which is right here. And we just maybe make that a little bit more round. There we go. And there we go. So now we will not have traffic issues because cars are passing through the intersection, which means the trains are stopping and not blocking the road. Although it does mean that trains are moving through it, but at least trains are not, uh, you know, stopping and waiting and, and holding up traffic. If they're stopping and waiting, it's because they can't get in here. And so they're stopping here, which is allowing the traffic to continue going through. At least I think it will. Um, they might be too close. Like stopping here, the signals might be too close and it might trigger this to stop anyway. I don't believe it will, but we'll see. Uh, all right, so I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. We got the train traffic situation somewhat sorted. I did come over here and, uh, you know, I'm starting to make one-way signals over here too to keep the trains going uh, their proper direction on this side too. So we can see like this right here, for example, we totally want this to be, now this is an interesting little part here because there's an intersection and then it's an intersection with an intersection, right? So typically you want to avoid that in this area, unless you know exactly what you're doing. In this case, I do know exactly what I'm doing because this is temporary. It will not be here later. And so this intersection will go away at that point, which means these signals will not need to exist. Uh, likewise, this is a one-way track, so it is going through here and merging. So if the train needs to stop here, it will be stopping on this one, which is not part of all of this. This is a straight through all the way from here. So in theory, we could just say that you as a signal are located here and that stops this from being a problem. Cause then I can just go in and put a chain signal there. This ends up being a completely separate zone and a train stops here. That's okay. This continues on this way and then this will continue on in that direction uh there but for now we're just gonna put a chain signal in here even though it doesn't matter uh we'll just go ahead and do that and uh now the trains when they want to refuel they're gonna have to come in from this side refuel and then leave they're gonna have to refuel only from this direction not from that direction that might create a conflict if it does i'll just make these two way again um but again this is all temporary because we're going to start once we get steel operational, we're going to start making our own electrical components. And as soon as we start making our own electrical components, we are going to electrify a lot of track. Before we can actually get to that stage, though, I'm going to be electrifying track anyway, just not very much track. OK, we're going to have to electrify one segment of track to the border because I want to be able to buy electric trains. I then need to electrify from the border, obviously, to the depot. And then from the depot, we're going to have to electrify it to get this uh, train to here. Okay. Now, that's a little bit of a tricky thing. We will temporarily, what we're going to do is temporarily make tracks two way so that the electric train can get on the right path that it needs to go on, get to this track, and then merge over. All right. Once it does that, it will then be situated on this track where it will stay. That's where that first electric train is going to go. Uh, but there's a lot of electrification that has to be done there. And eventually this whole thing's going to be electrified anyway. So I'm not entirely, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about it, uh, like wasting any resources. The only resource that would be wasted is this tiny little segment here. And we could even get around that by just making a short segment right here and electrifying it. That would allow us to get the train to get in here because it would what it would do is it come around. Yeah, it's all going to be electrified anyway, but it would come around 
it would go this way come all the way around be on that track and then in it would go not the smoothest transition there but uh we could do that likewise i think let me just double check this really quick because i think this is possible uh if we were to buy what, what i'm thinking of doing is if i buy right the electric train get it set up in here passenger train's gonna have to be used later too um if i buy the electric train right because this was a question some people had so i wanted to clarify this um i can have that train and some of the trailers hauled with a diesel train the diesel train can pull that train and so what i could end up doing is having a diesel train that pulls it over to another depot that i can build maybe over in this area and that would be my electric train depot and then that train can just go up and do nuts so i wouldn't have to necessarily build new track if i just had a single diesel locomotive haul the train that i want over to that side because it totally can do that right a diesel i can hook up a train for example with an electric locomotive and then put like i don't know 12 box cars behind it then put the diesel in front of it and tell that diesel to haul that train over to another depot then that train's already there with all of its trailers and then i can tell it to start its route and go for it from there if i did that i would not need to electrify all the way to the border before i started doing this i would simply buy the train there along with its trailers and stuff if i wanted to uh which i wouldn't i would probably just use the box cars that are on my existing train but i could just buy the locomotive there have the diesel haul that thing over where it needs to be and then configure it and go so the diesel trains can basically bring it to the track where it needs and then the electrified track takes it from there there's a lot of different options is what i'm saying uh, i don't know exactly which one i'm going to do eventually the whole thing is electrified anyway but electrical components are very expensive and i don't want to spend more money than i have to that said i'm doing pretty decent with money right once i stopped buying steel i started making cash again uh, and that's great so uh, in the next video i'm uh, to be honest i'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do in the next video i think i might start with um i might start electrifying track we are getting very close to maxing out our people right population has been steadily growing this entire time it's incredibly stable 89 percent health looking really good uh we have 65 percent average government loyalty which is great at this stage of the game i don't have a television station so i gotta get that going soon uh, and i also don't have personal cars yet so you're really limited on loyalty until you start getting the television station and then personal cars etc 72 percent of the people have a television so that might be a project we could look into uh, i don't have that big of an unemployment rate it's two percent and that two percent is just due to no workplace that's what i want to see due to no workplace because that means i have capacity for uh, other places other people to go other places that said i also have capacity by having another clothing factory as well and i can also increase the number of workers that can go in these buildings so these are not even maxed out yet so i am uh, i'm pretty good i think I think i'm doing all right here with uh with the number of workers i have and uh we're gonna just increase that really quick we're doing awesome on food uh, and we're exporting that food also too so this train constantly takes the food uh with it when it goes uh it's also taking a little bit of clothing a little bit of alcohol and uh we are actually robbing the rest of our clothing by doing this i probably don't want to do that anymore i'll tell it not to load clothing now what i wanted to see really quick is what this train does what does this train do to go to the border? Now that I've made all those signals that way, what is it going to do to go to the border? It's going to come all the way around. Yeah, it's, that's what it's doing. It's coming all the way around like this and then leaving to go to the border. So uh, what I need to do here, if I really want to have a train that goes back and forth and exports, which I kind of do, right? Uh, then what I actually have to do here is create a crossing after this point. I need to do that. I think it's probably pointless to have these two signals. These these two signals don't matter. Uh, but if I made a little crossing right here, that would help that a lot, I think. So we're going to put a little crossing right here. Like, let's say like that and like that. Yeah, that little one right there. And then what we can do is you can pop a chain signal in here and a clearing would go here. Now we just need uh these trains to get on that too so they'll build that little crossing and that will help that export train not have not to have to go all the way over there do that so we'll just have that happen and then we'll hit that into high priority okay 
Helicopter construction is a thing. Train signaling is not done yet, but it's much better than it was. We actually have, excuse me, we actually have dedicated uh, directions now for a lot of these things, which is something we didn't have before. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and I believe if I double check this, track is now completely done over here. There's a train builder, uh, track builder. So the train's completely done over here. We will have uh, additional signals on this. So the crossings, you have to have signaling on crossings. It's just, you just gotta do that. So this right here, we're gonna move to have this. This is getting breaking, broken down. They're, they're deleting this. They already got the one done. This is done. So we need to have signaling over here now. So this is gonna go like so. This goes like so. And then we want mixed signals here and here. There we go. That locks that in. That's good. Uh, and then on this side, we're going to have, at the moment, we're going to do this because we're building tracks. Uh, and then on this side, we're going to say that you come in from that way and that way. There we go. This is a pretty short segment. So we'll have to look at that. Probably move this crossing to be even further down. Probably put it too close here. Uh, but... I mean, I, I feel like I would have measured that, didn't I? Didn't I measure that? Eh, not very well. <laughs> uh, it needs to be probably closer to like here. And then that's, that's probably pretty good. Uh, and there is a possibility though. Just checking this though. I think there's a possibility to move these signals a little bit. Like, like this signal could be here instead, for example. That gives us a little extra room, right? Uh, this one here could go maybe there instead. It gives us a little extra room. So it's probably not going to be that big of a deal, but, you know, we'll move it down there anyway because we got a lot of track here anyway. Uh, and then over here, of course, if there's any train in this area right now, like, say, this track builder, then any other track builder trying to enter in here to build a track is going to have to wait. And that's no good. We definitely don't want that happening. Uh, so we're just going to go in real quick and do this. And uh, we'll go in and maybe do... Uh, well, you're building this whole thing. I'm going to let you do that. We're just going to leave that open. All right. I think, again, this video is long enough now. I probably am well over an hour, so I'll probably have to cut some stuff out. But it is what it is. I love playing this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We will see you next time where this helicopter will absolutely go to work for us. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. It's still, still pretty beat up, but we're fixing it up. See ya. Bye-bye.